friends. Welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. This is part two of, um, from my last video, tips of how to do big blooms. The reason it's part two is because this part took a lot longer than I expected. So to recap, in the last video, if you don't feel like watching it, um, I made a nice bloom and it didn't reach the edges, uh, which is fine because it just looked like a floating flower. But the reason it didn't was because my pillow paint was thicker. So in this video, I wanted to show you the difference of what happens when you have a thinner pillow paint. Um, so I'm using Sherwin Williams Color To Go and it definitely spreads more. And I had a few little, I did three versions of it, but the end version's pretty cool. You guys let me know what you think. So stick around and I hope you enjoy, bye. Okay, I have Sherwin Williams Dark Night. Kind of like a greeny, bluey, you know, just felt like being a little different, right? So we're gonna do the same thing. First of all, to see how this pours. I don't know if you can see, but it's quite nice. I'm gonna use, this is about three quarters of this. Now, this will spin much faster and further than the Glidden because it's thinner. So let me spread it out this way. It's a really pretty color. It's kind of like TLP tail feather, if you know the TLPs. Okay, stretchy, stretchy. I hope. <laughs> also, the reason it didn't spin far was because I didn't have a lot of paint to spin off, so it didn't have anywhere to go. So if you also want less negative space, then you can put more paint on to get it to move, but you just have to make sure that you get it off, you know? Let's just keep getting my way here. How are we doing? I might, yeah, oh, here feels nice. Hmm. Might put a little more around the edges like this. Okay, I think we are good to go. Let me put this over here, right? And I will, just to show you what I mean, put a little more bloop of paint right in the middle. Okay. Now, we're gonna do the exact same thing. So we have rose. A. Nice, might as well use it all up. I'll do a bit of the teal. I'm being a little more, I'm putting a little more paint down than I did before. Just a little, not really, it was still look like a third of the size. Okay, macaw. Um, I lost my, I took it out of order. Um, funk, TLP funk. Okay. Twinkle. Also, those look really nice on um, darker colors, the interference. Bit of sky blue. Um, I forgot this purple. This purple. And this time I'm gonna blow on the lighter one as well. I'm gonna watch out for that. Kind of just went right in. And that's another thing, when you see a lot of pill paint come up, there's lots of reasons for that happening. Um, one is your paints can be too thin, your paints can be too thick, or you blew too hard. Um, I'm topping it off with this, and then a little bit of the purple, and we'll see the difference, right? So wait, let me prepare this to make sure it's on the low setting. Yeah. Okay, now let's get her back to the middle a little bit. All right, let's see how we do on this one. Okay.
same thing kind of a lot of the pillow coming up through where i blew it so that means there's something wrong with my well not wrong but well kind of but there's something off with my pouring medium where it's repelling interesting the paint so normally when that happens maybe i used i'm just feeling to see if you guys watch me you know that i have another pouring medium that i use um for like watercolor blooms and i'm wondering if that's i use one of those instead okay so let's see let me spin it a bit and then we'll see um how much i want to fiddle around with it this color's really pretty and it um dries darker which would be nice Ooh. okay she wants to go down mm. i want to blow her out a bit more i just want to get a little petal more this way to, I mean, I can put a line down here, but you know what I could do? I don't really suggest this always, but if you really want flowy, also, yeah, if you want flowiness, some flowy edges going um you can double blow okay ready spin it out a bit before I start fiddling with it to kind of see where it needs fiddling you know the colors are pretty I'm also wondering you know people ask um, how long can you keep your paints for? The problem is, as you saw, I had to add a lot of Josania, and I'm just wondering if my paints are just like, sorry, too much Josania, too much going on, I'm not happy. That's what I think happened. Like, it's okay, but I don't like, I don't like the vibe of it at all and i'm wondering if i just have been using my paints for too long you know so i'm not gonna keep this actually because there's no point but you can see if i keep spinning it will reach the edges but i just don't like what's happening at all i'm not happy i'm gonna switch it up because i'm concerned my paints um are too old meaning i've probably added so much josonia to them over time that they just like they're not enjoying their lives so you know what i'm gonna do i am going to use interference paints because i know i just mixed those up recently so they should work for me and sometimes that's what you have to do like you know with a troubleshooting because the thing that I have so much, um, kind of not, I have so many mediocre canvases around, but that's not what I want in my life. I'm just changing my gloves. Um, you know, so let us break open the interference paints and just like do a full interference bloom. I guess I can do it on this. I like doing them on black or blue, but, oh shoot, but this green could be okay. Okay, so I just, I just opened my new mixing sticks. So we're gonna do abort mission here. We're gonna start again. So let me get organized, I'll be right back. 
Okay, so just so you know, I don't normally suggest people only use piggies in their blooms because your cell activator gets kind of wonky because it doesn't have anything holding it up. But because I have this magical cell activator, I'm hoping that it will work. Or what you can do is just top, top it off with whatever um, to paint you want. Um, I'm gonna spin this out a bit. But I don't know, should I just do four colors? Or I can do, because it also will be a different look. You're not gonna get like popping cells with just a thin layer of pigments, okay? Just so you know. But why don't I just go for it, right? Let's do full rainbow. At this point, I've got nothing to lose. Okay, so we have this part of the rainbow. And then I'll do macaw thing, shimmer, and this, and then comet. Okay, I was just talking to myself. Okay, because there's a lot of um, interference colors, so you gotta know what you're doing. Okay, we're starting again. TLP interference colors, I just did a video all about interference videos back if you want to know what they are they look white but over a dark base their true color shows okay i'm starting with comet tlp comet okay and i'm gonna do wouldn't it be fun to do like a block layering okay so we're starting with comet on this block okay then i'm gonna go brulee which is their orange so comet's like their red Okay, again, you're not gonna be able to see it yet. But I'm gonna do like a layered rainbow, okay? Because we're fun that way. Okay, then I'm doing ball gown, which is gold. And again, I know you can't see anything. Just trust me. Well, maybe you shouldn't because it hasn't been going well for me today. Maybe it's God's sign telling me not to paint. <laughs> the first one isn't bad not what we expected okay ball gown and then i have um twinkle no yeah twinkle is that twinkle no i think this is shimmer sorry for all the noise noise upstairs okay shimmer okay and then we have um macaw Okay, then I have Twinkle. It's a lot of interference here. Uh, and then I have, um, which one is this? This is the red gold, which I forgot what it is, but it's a red gold color, like a violet. Okay, that looks like one big blob too. I promise it's not. So do I just blow it out and see what happens at this point? Like, can you see? Hold on, maybe in certain lights you can see what's going on, right? Okay, let's just, at this point, we've got nothing to lose. And then I'm going to bed. <laughs> okay, are you ready? I'm not even putting, should I? Is that crazy? Ooh, I just don't know if I want like such a color. Mm. Do I have a light color? Let me see. I'm just worried because I want it to be plain, but I don't want it to sink too much. So normally I might mix up some like Titan buff or a color that's not super in your face. Um, but we're just going for it. I don't care. Okay, ready? Also, my hair dryer is intense today. Okay, let's go. That's the other thing. I probably should be using a lighter. Here we go. 
hair dryer. It's not so crazy right now. But colors are pretty. Definitely things happening. Just breaking up the cell activator. I'm gonna fix the shape soon. Oh, did I move? Um, let's kind of like spin her out and see what happens, right? bubbles because I just mixed them up willy-nilly. Mm -hmm. The colors, <gasps> the colors are insane, you guys. Oh, give me that. Mm. Shape's a little weird, but don't judge it yet. Still gotta spin. Oh, there's a bloop right in the middle. Oh well. Let's see. Can I fix it? Okay, there's like a chunk. Hold on. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, see how the middle is like kind of wonky, like the cell activator is being weird. But the colors are so cool. So what I would probably do with that is I would have to start to, because I wouldn't want to leave them like that because they'll just get weirder. I probably would um, manipulate them a little bit. But the colors are insane, which we love. I don't know, do I like what I'm looking at though? Okay, so now, okay, I'm gonna spend some more and then I'm gonna start like skewering the cell activator. So that's exactly what happens because it doesn't have anything to like grab onto. You know what I mean? Because the um, interference are so thin. Just popping some bubbles. So it starts to get like these weird reachy things. But look at the colors. Cool, right? Okay. So what am I looking at here? So I think, oopsie. <laughs> I think, let me just fix what my apron just did. Uh, <clears throat> I think I'm looking at it this way. So like, you know, these are weird. I don't know, let me change my gloves. I don't know if I like, I like the color. The, I don't know if I love the shape of what's happening. But anyways, at least you can see you can get it out. You can get a, a bloom out big. But now we're just, oh, I just ruined my shirt. Isn't that funny? Okay. So, I have my little sticky. This one. And what are we doing? I still want it to be natural and I don't want too many swirly whirlies because I don't like too many swirly whirlies. But I don't also want to see so many melted, melted situations, you know what I mean? So 
go to my, just do this and do many things. I don't know. I want to kind of keep a natural vibe and not too busy. So I just kind of fixed it up a little bit. I think, I don't know. Um, all right, let's see what we're looking at here. I like the idea. I love the colors. I don't know if I love the full, the full, Look, it could be like kind of weird. So maybe it was a fail, but not really because I love the colors. I don't know. Maybe this has to be like a maybe. You know what I mean? Hmm. What would I do differently? I think I would. Should I just mouth blow? And that's part of the problem because my hair dryer is a little insane. It's like looking a little messy. You know what I mean? And I got paint on it. Okay. Let's see. Might as well. I mean, the colors are so cool. And I'm wondering if I should do a dark cell activator. Hmm. So many questions. All right, let me get back to you. Okay, I've decided we're going over it and I'm gonna mix up some Payne's gray cell activator. Uh, I'm gonna use a double cell activator and hopefully that will hold up the cells better because I still don't want um, to put a tube paint on it. So, and also, I don't know if I, I really do like this green color, but like, I feel like I'm a black. Let's see, I got a black. because I said I wasn't gonna get messy in my white shirt and I did. All right, we're going for it, I don't care. Also, yeah, I think my hair dryer is a little much. Oh, I should mix this up. Um, and I'm just mixing it up. You can't see the color. Um, it's like overblows for what I'm going for. So I could mouth blow. There's a lot of, this is, this is like hot pink color that I mix it with. All right, this is third time's a charm. We're gonna do it. Now, I think I'm gonna do the same thing I really liked. Oh, why don't I make my cell activator? So we've got the flow troll. I don't measure, I, I just look for consistencies, right? So I have my four ounce cup. I'll fill about three ounces. See, it's, it's very thick. You want it very thick. This is a thick bottle and that's why it's working so nicely. The thin bottles work fine, but there's just something magical and the thicker the better. So I'm gonna take my Amsterdam. I know I keep stepping on this. Hold on. 
here we go. Yes, honey, I'm almost finished. Oh, he doesn't feel good. You okay, honey? I'm almost finished. I'm just filming. I'm trying to do something that's not working. I am doing a video. I'm almost done. Oops, I'm dropping it. I'm almost done, though. Trying to, so, oh, you want to say hi to your friends? Yes, sorry. Sorry, I'm sick. You don't sound very good, sweetie. Yeah, I'm hot. I'm going to have to mix for like a whole minute. Oops, I'm dripping everywhere, but it doesn't matter. Why? Oh, you look so cute. Why are you so sick today? You're on like day five. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Well, Mo actually is done school, so we're on summer vacation right now. And I'm sick. And he's sick. whoop de doo whoop doo He got sick like his last day of school. So when I mix my cell activator, I like it to drip for five seconds. One, two, you three, four, four. Activator? You want to see the cell activator? Yeah. Sure. It looks black as looks black, but it's a little, I might want to thicken it up a bit. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, and it drips. So it'll be fine, but well, you're, you're it'll be fine. Beautiful. Let's see mm, the Mariana Trench part. This is the Mariana Trench part? Yeah, it's a deep hole. It does. In the middle of Spain. Uh, is Wait, it, is it well, in no, Mariana Trench, where is it? Not in the middle of Spain. It's true. Well, Calgary? we're going to do Calgary? <laughs> no, okay. Ready? We're gonna do this all over again and it's gonna work out in our favor and then I'm, I give up. Okay? Wait, there could be a bloop though. I love you too, sweetie. I'm gonna be done, oh yes, that was a bloop. Good thing I got it. I'm gonna be done so soon. You can miss school today. Yes, you can miss school today. So I like the layering that I did. Okay. If you didn't know, I'm now homeschooled. Well, to be honest, we didn't do homeschool yesterday, and because I woke, I slept in. I know. I'm allowed to sleep in. Thank you very much. I slept in too. Um, but after this, we're doing homeschool. What do you mean we're doing homeschool? We're, we're, we have school to do today. You said I can miss school. What? Oh, this school? I thought you were joking. No, <laughs> you can't miss mummy school. Okay. So I'm still doing this layering situation. And then, oops, get this out of the way. Oh, is that why you were fit kind of, I was wondering what, you're going a little overboard on your sickness. Is it because you're trying to get out of mummy school? No. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna call you in about 10 minutes for school. Yeah, you go rest. Yesterday, I felt this way. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, we had, you did a lot of fun things. You went swimming. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, go upstairs. I'll talk to you soon. Um, what is this? This is a fun one. Uh, I don't want to talk. He's such a fake. Okay. Um, okay, final one. And then I give up, okay, guys? Like, this is embarrassing. But the point is, I was trying to teach you how to do a big bloom, and I guess I kind of, did I did I succeed or fail in that? I don't even know anymore. We're just doing our best at this point. Okay, I'm gonna do white, and then paint's gray. Oh yeah, and then my, am I mouth blowing? Oh God, fine. Cause it will be different too. It won't overblow everything like my hair dryer was. So let's see if I can do it. Oh. Oh, pillow came up. I did worse than the hair dryer. Oh gosh. 
Okay, a lot of bad things happen. I have like bad blows, okay? Um, I couldn't reach, my neck hurts. Don't complain though. I don't wanna to blow too much pillow up, but I hate these fingers, as you know. Um, oh Lord, have mercy. That was like the worst blow of my life. Okay, are we just getting worse here? This is an embarrassment to a bloom, okay? Oh, let's see if I can fix it. Yeah, see, I don't want you so hardcore. I'm giving up, but I'm gonna spin it out first and then give up, okay? <laughs> like the middles, kind of cool actually. It's just, you know, I hate those finger, like I call them channel blows. That's not what we're looking for. But the middle part's kind of cool. I don't know what it is. This part needs to. Well, I think I failed. Oh, it's so pretty though, the colors. Let's see how much I can get off. definitely like some sort of splatter of some sort. Um, oh, no, I want to go fast. Hold on. So look, I got, I spilled some paint right on here. Well, I did say splatter. It's funny. All right, let me pop this boot away. Let's see what I can do with that splatter I just made. Oh. Um, Lisa Marvin, what are you doing? Okay, whatever that is. Well, colors, cool. Shape, weird. I think, I think I give up for the day, you guys. No, no, no. You know what I mean? Oh, it really moved. But look at the cool colors. Okay. This will be called Paint Splat. Okay, and the colors are really cool, but the execution is not cool. Um, I don't know, you know, just cleaning up the bottom here. Um, well. Let me at least do a close up, okay? And then, like, I'm obviously not doing any more today because I give up. But, um, yeah, these, these air bubbles, poor little air bubbles. I don't know. Definitely, I'm not sure I helped you guys at all today. 
but you guys will tell me. Maybe it was fun just seeing me do ugly stuff. Although the first one wasn't bad, don't get me wrong. Just not the vibe we were looking for. Um, all right, well, I don't know, you guys. Thanks. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Bye.